So we have a practice AP problem, 2002, AB, number five. It's a related rate problem. You have a cylinder with water half full. The container shown is a right circular cone. The height is 10, that's shown on the side. The diameter is 10, shown on top. Water in the container is evaporating. So its depth is changing at negative 3 tenths of a centimeter per hour. Everybody, if we use R, H, and V, which we should use, they just gave us dH, dt, right? So we now know this is a related rate because it's something per time. And then they give us a note about the volume. And it says, find the volume of the water in the container when H equals 5 centimeters. Okay, so the first one's not even a calculus problem, really. It's a, it's a geometry problem, okay? So for letter A, we're going to have to calculate, we got volume equals one-third pi r squared h. And right now they want us to find volume, and they told us h is 5 centimeters. So everybody, we're going to have to find r. But uh, yeah, everybody, the thing I want you to realize in this situation is we have a tr red triangle with 10 and 5 for the overall dimension, meaning our similar triangle inside of r and h has to be the same, and they told you h is 5. So I'm going to do this in terms of R and H because most likely, based on our experience, I think we all would agree that we're going to need an equation that relates R and H. All right? So I see that 1 half, 5 tenths, is equal to R over H. So H is equal to 2R. If I put in 5 for H, we find that R is 5 halves. All right, and so for letter A, we know that that's 5 centimeters. We know this is 5 halves centimeters. So we write the formula. And now we just plug and chug. 1 third pi, 5 halves centimeters squared. And this would be on the no calculator section if you're planning to take the AP, guys. All right, so I end up with 1 third pi 25 force centimeters squared times 5 centimeters. And I end up with 1 third times 1 fourth. I end up with 12 on the bottom. 25 times 5 is 125 pi centimeters cubed is the bottom. And as we get better at these, everybody, they score every AP problem like this on 9 point scale. All right, they're not equal points, so A is not always 3, B is not always 3, C is not always 3 in this case. In fact, this time, A was 1 point. Out of the 9 points of this problem, that was only a point. So now that means there's 8 points left. When something's that easy, usually it's not worth very much. So you do it, and the answer was 125 over 12 pi centimeters cubed. All right? Put that up here. We just did A. Letter B, if I go back to 100%, see if we can get Back to 125%. Letter B. This is the related rate. Find the rate of change of the volume of water in the container with respect to time when H is 5. Indicate units of measure. Everybody, we said from the get-go that when we were given this, that was dHdt. So, taking the AP, we're always going to want to write our note. Alright? And, and we're going to find dVdt when what? When H was... Five centimeters. All right. Again, we'll start putting it in. We know from our work in letter A up here that H equals 2R. And I'm going to rewrite that so we have it. H equals 2R or R equals 1 half H, okay? And I know the original formula. Volume equals 1 third pi R squared H. We look at the derivative. We think to ourselves, ah, we know the derivative of V is dV dt. On the other side right now, we have a product rule, right? Because R and H are both changing. And I can't plug in 2.5, even though we calculated an A. R and H change. That's the rate of change. So we, I think if we're looking for dHdt, which variable do we have to get? We have dHdt. We've got to get rid of R. We've got to get rid of R. All right. Well, I figured out here that R is equal to 1 half H. All right. So if I do that... I can go volume equals one third pi one half h quantity squared h. And I get volume equals h squared 
One half h quantity squared is one fourth h squared. One fourth times one third, one twelfth pi. How about h cubed? And I am loving life at this point. All right, I am loving life. So now I'm just going to take the derivative with respect to time. dvdt equals the derivative of h cubed is 3h squared. So I don't get tricky. I know it's 1 fourth. I just write it this way. I'll do the reduction later. And we did that with respect to h. So it's dh dt. Now, they want dv dt. That's our unknown at 5 centimeters. I know h. I can do the dh dt. How about 1 fourth pi? So I got 1 fourth pi, I'm going to put in the 5 centimeters for h, and I'm going to put in the negative 3 tenths centimeters per hour for the dh dt. Now it's just math. I say that like we won't make mistakes. Carefully go. I see 25 centimeters squared times negative 3, I see negative 75 centimeters cubed pi centimeters cubed over 40 hours. Obviously, I'm not going to leave negative 75 for you. All right? Because that will simplify. Take 5 out of each, right? And I get an answer of negative 15 pi over 8 cubic centimeters per hour. All right. If I make an entire page of this, it's going to get really small. All right? On the AP test, this was worth 5 points, if you guys are curious. What's worth points? This right here was worth a point, or just that relationship that you had to make. Um, v as a function of one variable, that was worth a point. Yep, they check your work all the way down. They want the right derivative. This was worth two points. So one, one, two, and what's what's the last thing? The answer was worth a point. Now, at the very bottom, later on, if you have the units right in all three sections, they gave you a point. So later on, this unit becomes worth a point. There's really six points in here. Guys, I always make a joke. If you can get two-thirds of the point, you'll get a four or a five. All right? You don't have to be hot. It's not, it's not like 90% A. All right? The risk score situation. So there it is. Five points and units count. And units count.